Clean by Vladimir Nabokov was released in 1954 and centers on the old Russian emigre Panin, who never quite manages to assimilate into the culture of his adopted home. He struggles with the English language, so he's often outcasted by his inability to communicate. He's depicted as somewhat of a train wreck by our narrator. He barely understands English, he's not a great professor, and he's overall just quite odd. He has an ex-wife and his living arrangements just aren't ideal. He even gets fired from his position at the university that he's a professor at. At the end of the novel, we learn that the one who's going to replace Panin is the narrator of our novel. Panin has many funny quirks or Paninisms. He's not coined the term Paninisms for himself, but it is used for him by our narrator. It is to make a mockery of his habits. Panin can't help but be spoken for as he is not our narrator. Oftentimes people in our lives try to speak for us, but we have the power to speak for ourselves, unlike Panin. We write our own stories, therefore isms only have as much power as we give them. What is your name? Larissa. All right, Larissa, what would other people say is a Larissa-ism? Mm, definitely taking me for granted or just seeing me as a really nice person they could just walk all over. What would you say a Larissa-ism is? Um, I would definitely say it is someone who really cares about everyone else and shows love no matter what. What is your name? My name is Jalen. All right, Jalen, what would other people say a Jalenism is? Uh, a lot of people would say a Jalenism is that uh, I've been told a lot that I'm a people pleaser and that um, I don't really have any goals for myself. I kind of just, you know, live my life through everybody else's life. <laughs> what would you say a Jalenism is? I would say a Jalenism is the fact that I love being around people. I value the connections that I have and relationships that I form. And because I love being around my friends and my family, I tend to enjoy myself through them and spend a lot of my time around them. I like doing anything with them. All right, what is your name? My name is Anna. All right, Anna, what would other people say is an Anna-ism? Uh, if I had to pick one, it would probably be needing everything to be perfect. Um, especially when it comes to work or school family relationships. Uh, also, I would add this if someone were to say that about me. I feel the need to make what I do perfect because it's one of the only ways I get affirmation, you might say. I have had issues in the past with having personal relationships that make me feel supported, validated, etc. And so I sometimes feel like I have to overcompensate with that through pretty much everything else, whether it's getting acknowledged by a teacher in class, and so I need my grades to be perfect, or getting acknowledged by my family, so I need to make sure that I'm doing everything perfectly for them. Uh, so I would say it's an anaism, but it's not the complete picture. All right. Would is that what you would say an anaism is? Yes, but not the complete anaism, you might say. How would you rewrite it? Um I feel the need to make things perfect for other people. Not for myself so much as for other people. So what is your name? Uh, I'm Theo. All right, Theo, what would other people say is a Theoism? Uh, hmm, I'm like kind of jokingly mean to the people I'm friends with. Uh, I like I like to mess with people just as a bit. I, I don't know, I think it's fun. They tend to enjoy it too. All right, what would you say a Theoism is? I like people, right? I'm a social person. If I'm like, if I'm like gently bullying you, it's a sign of affection. What is your name? My name is Mallory. All right, Mallory. What would other people say is a Malloryism? A Malloryism is going too in depth with stories. Oh, I meow a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What would you say a Malloryism is? I would say a Malloryism is giving people the full details, giving everyone full details of stories because I think they're really interesting and meowing is just something that i do because it just 
is what it is. I would say Malloryism is caring about people and loving everyone for who they are and being very empathetic. What is your name? My name's Brage Golden. All right, what would other people say is a Brageism? Definitely people think I'm very, very shy when they first meet me and like probably a very introvert, which I am introvert, but once you get to know me, um, definitely, definitely come out of my shell and I'm an allowed annoying person. Everyone that I've met have been like, I thought you were like an introverted loser. And I've been like, no, I'm actually an, an, an annoying introvert. Like, and I like bothering people. And All right, what would you say is a Brageism? I like to think that I'm getting myself out of a lot of situations and uh, doing well. But in reality, I'm just tricking myself that um, I'm usually in a worse situation than, than I, I'm in. Put my problems to the side until they uh, pop up. And my sense of humor is like strange, but it uh, makes some people laugh, it makes me laugh, that's what, that's what counts. What is your name? My name is Jacob. All right, Jacob, what would other people say a Jacobism is? Uh, other people would define a Jacobism as a clumsy, moronic mistake, probably done by somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, just trying to fit in, uh, you know, something kind of sad, almost somewhat pathetic, mainly sad. Um, but I, I would define a Jacobism as some real boss shit, um, only capable of being done by yours truly. What do you mean, boss? What's good about yourself? Um, I would say that I'm somewhat of an outside the box thinker. I try and come up with creative solutions to issues um, by relating to people. And I feel like I can relate to people pretty well and show empathy, but also um, read a situation in a room and know how to react and adapt to it. I write my own story. I write my own story. Okay. Yeah, I write my own stories. I write my own story. Okay. I write my own story. Okay. I wrote my own story. My name is Jacob, and I write my own boss-ass story.